Washington, conservation groups have reacted furiously to a planned move by the Trump administration to allow hunters who kill elephants in two African countries to bring home the animal's tusks or other body parts as trophies. The move triggered protests from conservation groups and a frenzy on social media from opponents who posted pictures on Twitter of US President Donald Trump's adult sons, who are avid hunters, posing with the cut-off tail of a slain elephant and other dead wild animals. At a meeting in Tanzania organized by a pro-trophy hunting lobbying group, the US Fish and Wildlife Service disclosed that it would allow the import of trophies from Zimbabwe and Zambia through 2018. The agency said the countries had developed robust conservation programs that would enhance the survival of African elephants, the world's largest land animals. However, the White House on Thursday said it had not yet finalized the decision. There has been an announcement that's been finalized on this front, White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders told reporters when asked about the reported policy shift. Until that's done, I will consider anything final. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. The move would reverse a policy implemented by Trump's predecessor, Barack Obama. Infuriating, Chelsea Clinton, daughter of former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, wrote on Twitter, will increase poaching, make communities more vulnerable and hurt conservation efforts. Infuriating will increase poaching, make communities more vulnerable and hurt conservation efforts. httpstco slash W3BT8TZZGW Advocates for big game hunting contend that it can help preserve wildlife by generating income for poor countries that can promote conservation and improve the lives of impoverished people. Legal well-regulated sport hunting as part of a sound management program can benefit certain species, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said in a statement. Hunting group Safari Club International, which sponsored the meeting in Africa, praised the decision. These positive findings for Zimbabwe and Zambia demonstrate that the Fish and Wildlife Service recognizes that hunting is beneficial to wildlife, said the group's president, Paul Barbaz. Not surprised. Totally predictable, just look at Trump's sons who absolutely love trophy hunting, especially killing elephants, cutting off their tails and waving it around while posing and looking mighty proud hash band trophy hunting httpst.co slash v31cfv610yp twitter.com slash 16egn4 by de. Africa Wildlife Threat New policy from U.S. Trump allows import into U.S. of hunting trophies from Africa like tusks of endangered elephants. Trump's sons delight in killing African animals and holding them close. Pick twitter.com slash rilla5s5q. But M. Sajia, chief executive of Conservation International, said in a statement, the original ban was enacted based on detailed findings on the condition of elephant populations on the